What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Boo Bros channel. It has been a while since I've been on this channel, and I, when was the last time you were on this channel, Eddie? It was probably the Boo, Bro, Boo Bros podcast, which oh, was man. like a month or two ago, a month maybe? or two ago, I know. But uh, I can tell you guys this. We are uh, on that channel. I will say this right now. We are. That's usually our slower season from, from the end of uh, November all the way to about, you know, May, June-ish. Um, that's yeah. when we get announcements. So it's going to be a little dry on that channel, but we'll still try to keep content flowing. I know a lot of us have old stuff we're going to throw up for you guys and whatnot so you guys can enjoy some content and hot and horror content year-round. So, But the announcement me and Eddie want to make today before we get on with this video is uh, our goal is from this week leading on all summer, we're going to try to deliver you guys a, a, an episode of East versus West every week right here on the Boo Bros. Don't know what day yet. I mean, it, it could ver vary from day to day depending on who wants to upload what. However, Eddie and I are going to make it our goal to try to keep Boo Bros and, and East versus West um, steady content all summer, at least one video a week. Uh, we're going to do coast comparisons mostly, but if there's any related news for Haunt, Eddie and I will uh, postpone a coast comparison so we can get that news out for you and we can cover it. And we got a lot of news to cover today, Eddie, right? Yeah, man. And announcement season is coming, too, so we'll have plenty of content coming out. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot that there's a lot of news that uh, you guys may have already heard, but uh, Eddie and I have not gotten the chance to talk to one another to uh, compare and contrast and, and kind of see what we're looking like and what, what we're liking, what we're not liking. So there's a lot of things to talk about. There's some, some sad news we got to cover in the very beginning, and there's some uh, – more great news on, on current construction, at least on the Hollywood side. Um, and I know Orlando probably does is doing construction right now. They're just very secretive about it. Yeah. Because um, that's that's what happens when you got to put everything indoors because it rains there all the time. So, you know, no no yeah. talk of shit or anything. It's, it's just the truth. I'd rather, it be, I'd rather have all our shit indoors and sound stages yeah, and whatnot. A lot of the construction goes goes up during, like, hurricane season. The, like, yeah, final see, touches. And, yeah. Luckily, but, um, Universal has uh, some good uh, security on that, though. <laughs> yeah, but before we get into everything, you're tuning into East versus West on the Boo Bros channel. If you're not familiar with the Boo Bros, myself and Anthony have our own personal channel, and several other content creators on here have their own uh, channels as well, from East to West Coast covering theme parks and hot events. Um, I think it's like, what, seven or eight of us? Yeah, I Something always like forget. That. I always forget the number, but there's, there's a lot. A, yeah, there's a lot of us on here. So, you know, if you're looking for a different shape, flavor, whatever it may be, you probably could find it on here. We all come together on the Boo Bros to put out content for you guys on one platform, and we all have our individual channels. So if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to everybody or your favorite content creator that you find on here. Quite literally, coast-to-coast -coast coverage. Yep. So... Let's break into the sad news first, starting with the Universal Monsters Cafe. Unfortunately, just shut its doors for the last time at Universal Studios Orlando for uh, this past week. Uh, yeah. I know a lot of Haunt fans and a lot of diehard fans of the park were very sad and devastated, even mad at it. Um, it is kind of a, a sucky situation. I got to go in it at least once when I, when I did my trip last year, and it, it was a very, very cool restaurant, but... Uh, like my dad always says, everything uh, changes for good or for bad. Nothing stays the same. So it's yeah. looking like we're getting a revamp, uh, looking like they're revamping that area to be more um, illumination related, probably, as, as we're, a lot of you guys have been speculating with Despicable Me already being there, Shrek closing down, they may be turning that into Secret Life of Pets. And of course. Um, or a Minions attraction. Or a Minions attraction. Um, or, and, and then the, the Monsters Cafe is e easily going to be probably Minions themed. So. Yep. Um, like just Some like how we have a Hollywood, a bunch of banana, banana themed items. Banana I don't know the one the, the one restaurant shake. out here. I don't know if they'll <laughs> change the menu or not, but the one restaurant out, out here is actually not too bad. Is it? Is there a lot of banana items? Uh, they got some like banana pudding, but like, yeah, not really. I mean, it's <laughs> an actual like grill and stuff. So they sell like you know chicken nuggets, all that stuff. Okay. Well, I, I guess let, let's talk a little bit about of our uh, our experience actually going to Monsters Cafe before it closed. Um, the closure to me, I, I know I heard rumblings of it going to be closed, but I wasn't sure. And then when it actually happened, I, I had it. I hadn't heard anything recently that it was going to close down. And it was just kind of like announced online. A couple of content creators said that it had closed its doors permanently. And then that was confirmed by Universal Studios. I had I've been to it several times. 
um, it, it kind of almost became like a tradition for opening night of Halloween Horror Nights during the daytime, have lunch there. The the restaurant itself is is amazing. I mean, and mostly if you're a horror fan or a huge fan of Halloween Horror Nights, going into there really kind of like sets the tone for what's to come that night. Um, but just in general, if you're if you're a horror fan and Halloween Horror Nights isn't going on, it's a really cool restaurant to walk through. There's a lot of cool like props from like the Mummy, um, the Wolfman, uh, Frankenstein's monsters in there as you enter. There's you got like the Tesla coil that's over like the food area. Um, I, I actually had a video there. I was looking back three years ago, three years ago. I, I went ate there. Um, and last year for the behind the screams tour uh, for Halloween Horror Nights, it was Chris, myself and um, Losh. We went there Two other boo bros, by the way, we went there and that was the stop for the the. Um, the behind the screams tour. So the behind the screams tour has like a pause in between for lunch, and we stopped there. I'm I'm happy that we were able to stop there and eat. You know, at the time I didn't know, you know what was yeah. what was coming and how soon it was coming. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, man. How about how about you? How was your? Yeah, experience? I just I, I remember my phone was dying. I didn't even eat there. Like I just my phone was dying, and and someone had told me that they had a lot of charging ports in there. So I went to go hang out in there for few minutes to get my phone at least at like halfway and stuff and and just i remember walking in and just just looking around and just being blown away by it like right when you walk in the, the first doors you have like a statue of of the wolf man and, and you know dracula and the mummy and all this stuff you know what i mean it's like just to see all these like iconic props there's some scripts hung on the wall and stuff like all these iconic things that are part of history of the universal monsters legacy it is just so it was so cool to see that and, and I, I kinda wish now going back I would have ate there, but uh it was just cool to at least see it in person. I've always seen videos of it and, and whatnot, but it, to see it in person is a whole different experience. And that goes for just about anything you do in life, but <laughs> you know, yeah, just right. just seeing it in person was so much better and, and I am definitely gonna miss it. I, I I wanted to take Sammy there to show him. I know he would have loved it, especially us loving those universal monsters mazes too. Um but yeah, man, it, it's gonna be missed, and and I I'm I'm curious to see what they're gonna replace it for, and uh, hoping that uh, we get somewhat of a, a revamp over at Epic Universe when they when they uh, start building that Universal Monsters line. That's gonna that's gonna bring me out there again just to go in the off season just to go see that. Yeah, and I I think there, you know, given the the lands that are coming to Epic Universe, there's a good chance that we're gonna get some type of classic horror monsters dining venue at right. epic universe maybe not another monsters cafe but something similar and having it at both parks becomes a little bit too much redundancy um i'm not too happy to hear that it's going to be a minions cafe but that's not confirmed either um it, that just doesn't seem like a worthy replacement of monsters cafe yeah. You know? Now you know how I felt when we lost Terminator for Despicable Me. I know, I know. And, and, but we're getting and, born, maybe, from what I've been hearing. So, yeah, you guys have shown some of the born props. I'm are, so happy. Hollywood. I'm so happy. I'll watch yeah. that all day. I will. You watched it when you were here. I watched it like at least three or four times every day that I was there. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a cool ride, and it's a good way and to get AC away from the was, heat. Yeah, yeah. Florida AC <laughs> is the best AC I've ever felt in my life. I know it's dude, probably just because it's so freaking muggy and and humid outside that it just feels better. But no, not just that. We blast AC. Like I don't live in Florida anymore, but when I live there, you blast the AC. Yeah. You like you go to sleep like in sixty six degree weather in your house. <laughs> that's just because just, you know it's so hot outside. That's just California every night. Yeah, yeah. You guys got yeah. good weather over there. But a, yeah, sad sad to see the classic monsters cafe go. Um, glad that I was able to to go through it. Glad that you were able to go through it as well, Anthony, because. That was your first time ever here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I got to see it. It was fun. Yeah, was fun. you got your for farewell tour of yeah. Classic Monsters. Little did I know, know, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, but that yeah. sad. It's very sad. So uh so the sad news is out of the way. Let's 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 dive into these uh these speculation maps. Now, if you guys don't remember the last episode of East versus West that we actually did we broke down Losh's speculation list, um, and that was the kind of like the last speculation of anything for Horror Nights that we, we did on East versus West for this year. So uh, since then, HN Nightmares has released uh, two speculation maps. We're only going to be covering 2.0. 
uh, for both Orlando and Hollywood. Uh, and we're going to read through them real quick, and, and then uh, we'll, we'll, each one will read through their, their coast, and then after that we'll um, we'll give a little brief discussion of what we think is coming and whatnot. So, Eddie, I'll let you start it off over Orlando because there's some uh, interesting ones I, I'd like to get your opinions about. Okay. I'll breeze through the list. Um, you know, we'll probably pop it up on the on the screen as well. So if you guys need a visual visual. Right. Um, so first and foremost, we got Stranger Things. Um, Blumhouse or the the horrors of Blumhouse, the black phone and freaky. Um, and I'm going to go through first the IPs. Um, I, I guess Mummy versus Wolfman would be an IP Halloween. And then The Weeknd would be kind of an IP. Um, and then we have the originals, which is Dead Man's Wharf, Underground Creatures, Bug House, which is kind of a, I think, a working title, Wicked Growth 2, which I guess at this point could be an IP since it's a returning um, a sequel to a, to a house, El Chupacabra, and that is everything. Um, as far as, so kind of just to go over what the, the biggest change, I think the biggest change so far has been the, the change for the Netflix property to stranger things. Right. Um, I, I gotta say, I kind of saw that coming and I didn't see, um, now the, the other property's name escapes me. Help me here. Fear street, fear street. I didn't see fear street actually coming. Um, I would have loved it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, to see that property and to move from the different eras that, that the the show goes through, that would have been super cool. Um, but Stranger Things just makes so much more sense. And then after seeing the the uh, trailer for Stranger Things, I actually was pretty excited. The trailer seems Some pretty journey. awesome. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, Stranger Things to me, so I, I was never a huge fan of Stranger Things. I only watched it because it was coming to Halloween Horror Nights. The first year that I, that I did media was Stranger Things, the first year of Stranger Things. And, and the only year that I ever did media too, <laughs> but it was the straight, the, the first year that stranger things came to Halloween Horror Nights. So, um, stranger things kind of holds a special place in my heart. And that year, stranger things was amazing. Yeah. Um, and, but stranger things got better by the third stranger things. And this is the fourth, it got more grown up. It got more horror. Well, yeah. Would, Cause they I were, you think. know, the kids were growing up, so they had to adapt with the kids. Yeah. So I, I've grown to like it more i wouldn't say i'm the hugest fan um but just given my experience with stranger things and what how it correlates with certain years that mean something to me i'm glad to see it coming back in other words eddie is saying he's old but yeah yeah I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> uh so let me let me let me pick your brain about some of these uh some maybe some theories or ideas that you have for these originals dead man's wharf can you think of anything that that might be based off of? Because I got something on the top of my head. It was something that I saw in Eddie's scare zone last year, um, where it looked kind of like some like a like a fisherman in the middle of the sea. You think it could be any relation to this character, or you think it's going to be something completely different? So Eddie's scare zone was a reference to to scare zones and houses that had come before. Um, and I, I remember the guy that you're talking about, but I I, I don't remember exactly what his reference was but everybody in his scare zone was a reference to prior years right um but i i do see something like that so like some type of like skipper or fisherman and kind of mix it up mix it in with like uh pirates of the caribbean where they have like the the like shells and stuff on their face things like that i i could see something like that um or maybe something similar to i know what you did last summer that'd be that'd be super cool i mean um you know i I, I think some type of like zombie zombified fishermen or pirates is yeah. what we're gonna get there. Well, the dead yeah. is very is written different than the other the rest yeah. of the font. So you know it's it's looking like obviously it's probably gonna be zombie or the yeah. undead related. You know what I mean? So yeah. Um, underground creatures. This one sounds. I could see a good promo with this, especially because they've done this in the they did this last year with their promo about a. Uh, of, you know, the whole fear, you know, never go alone and whatnot. And they had, like, the dungeon yeah. underneath Universal and the alleyway, you know, that they film a lot of their promos at. Like, I yeah. could see something like this. You, What do you have an idea of what, what this could be? Has this been kind of something before, or is this going to be new for this year? So, new for this year, I really don't have much of an idea, but we did joke around 
uh, about it potentially being like a, a Tremors Kevin Bacon comes to Halloween Horror Nights <laughs> type of house. <laughs> that's uh, that's Horror Nights' original property right there. Yeah, yeah, but no, I, I don't know what to think of with underground creatures. But, I, I mean, the creatures from, like, Tremors do sound like a, a fitting creature for this type of house. Yeah. You, you've seen Tremors, right? I have. Yeah. So, like, those, like, underground worms or whatever the hell they were. Um, aside from that, I, I don't know. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, this is a working title. And yeah. they're speculating the title, but it it actually is an actual creature house. Could be cool. Yeah, I, I don't know if they would. I don't know if they would do two universal monster mazes though. They they probably wouldn't. But nothing on here is solidified. Yeah. So uh, Wicked Growth two. I mean, I can I can see a lot more story build from the the, the first one, which was amazing. So yeah. that that could be really cool. We could see the more uh, of the of the what was it the Pumpkin Lord. Yep, um, and there, there's yeah. rumors of the Pumpkin Lord being the potential, or uh, maybe not rumors, but people would like to see the as Pumpkin the icon Lord as the icon this year. So it would be good. He was a fan favorite last year, and if yeah, they want to, yeah, if they want to keep adapting on it, they'll make him the the star attraction on the marquee this year. Yeah, I, I think the general consensus would say Wicked Growth was the favorite house last year. Although for me, the favorite house was. Um, uh, haunting of hill house for me personally i but liked this um was, what was it case files on earth i love that house yeah that house was dope too but um yeah i could see this being like an awesome sequel i i don't see how they could mess, mess this one up now what i would like to see with this but i don't think it's shown on here as one let me see the location h h h h so they're still keeping it in the sprung tents in the back I would like to see because you know it's the fans that have brought this back, put it into a soundstage. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be in the front area where BCD is at. Yeah. Um. It, yeah, and yeah, yeah, that'd be cool because um, I I feel like, yeah you're right. This character had a lot of popu popularity last year closing out. Um, and I yeah I did hear a lot of positive reviews about this maze, and I even enjoyed it too. Um, it was really cool. So I'm excited to see where we can go with the sequel and how we expand this story and, and whatnot. Maybe it's it'd be cool to have, like, an Easter egg of him meeting the other icons, like Jack and all them, you know what I mean? Like, Oh, that'd be dope. Jack kind of finding him and bringing him into, like, the Halloween Horror Nights world now and stuff. It'd be really cool. Or, like, Jack, you know, like, how they had the, the teaser trailer with Jack downstairs and the cells and everything? And yeah. Maybe Jack letting him out of his cell. And then, boom. Like this is your year. Yeah. Boom, and he lets him out. Oh man, that's that'd be good. Uh, that's that's dope. That's off the dome right there, guys. It's off the, the dome. <laughs> uh, a bug house. I mean, the only thing we can really assume from that is going to be a bug-related house, and yeah. that would scare the shit out of me because I don't yeah. like bugs. How, how how did you come up with that? Bug house. <laughs> yeah. It's that's you know bug it's related. just it's just probably someone someone. Told it's your him, intuition. You're intuitive. He, he told him he was like, he was like, I, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but it's going to be a bug related house. Yeah. yeah. Um, not yeah, a fan El, of bugs. El, El Chupacabra, dude. I know a lot about that. That's 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 my people right there. They they yeah. they they created that urban legend, and um, so that should be a lot of fun, especially because when it comes to originals, I know uh, they can knock it out of the park. So I'm 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 very curious to see what they make the Chupacabra look like. That'd be really cool, dude. And growing up. I mean, I don't know about for you, uh, you know, growing up when I grew up, I, I'm older than you. Yeah. Watching watching TV. My family was Hispanic. So Hispanic news was always on Telemundo and all that stuff. El Chupacabra wasn't uh, wasn't fake back then. You know, yeah. there were several sightings yeah. in Southern American countries and people complaining about their their cattle having like, you know, bite marks and being yeah. drained of their blood and getting killed. So growing up for me, you know, this kind of was real. So I'm excited about that. If that ends up coming, that's probably going to be my favorite original. That'd be or dope. My most anticipated original. Yeah, that would be dope. I'm excited for that. So we already talked about Stranger Things, the Horrors of Blumhouse, Black Phone, and Freaky. I have to say, for a Horrors of Blumhouse maze, that's actually those are two. I mean, I know one for sure is a really good property, uh, I, and Black Phone looks very good, especially after seeing Ethan Hawke's performance in, in Moon Knight. I'm excited to see him in Black Phone. So that could be a really good maze, especially if Black Phone does good in theaters. Freaky was already a great film, so I'm excited to see what Black Phone is like. Yeah, um, 
I like Blumhouse. Yeah. I'm a fan of Blumhouse, but the last appearance of Blumhouse at Halloween Horror Nights, at least in Orlando, did not do well. Yeah. It wasn't a, a fan favorite. Um, well, luckily for us, too, this movie, Black Phone's going to drop out this summer, so it will give uh, uh, fans an opportunity to see it before they go to the maze. Yeah, and I, I wonder if they'll announce that particular property before the movie hits theaters. Kind of like, a, you know, we're sticking to our guns. We're going with this property. You know or, what a really good marketing plan would be, honestly, though? What? Announce the Announce the maze and then follow it up by releasing a new trailer, too. What about if they announce the house coming to Halloween Horror Nights in the 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 previews to the movie? That'd be cool. Like, and then go to Halloween <laughs> Horror, like at the end when there's a tickets on sale. This and then after go to yeah. Halloween Horror Nights and experience horrors of Blumhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I. Yeah, that's what I think. Like that'd be cool. It'd be good marketing. <laughs> that'd be dope, unless the movie does terrible. Yeah. <laughs> people, are gonna, be... people are still gonna come to Horror Nights regardless. Yeah, people are still coming to Horror Nights regardless, but. Then that that house wouldn't be. I don't know though, bro. Ethan Hawke is coming back though. I don't think that movie's gonna be terrible, honestly. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I don't think it's gonna be like, oh my god, this is the best movie ever. I think it's gonna be like, you, a lot of people are gonna be shocked because he's gonna play a psychotic role in there. It looks super interesting. The yeah. I, I'm excited for the movie to come out, and I, I hope it does well. And if it's coming to Halloween Horror Nights, I hope it does even better. But you know, it doesn't always have to be an amazing movie to do to be a great house. Halloween Horror Nights does magic. I know. Look at Halloween, for example. That movie's garbage. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Halloween, though, that that's you, that's your property, man. So let's see. We're not even getting to Halloween this year, so I think we need a break. We had him last year, and and we just need a break. You can yeah. you guys take him, and maybe that might be the Blumhouse one too. So Blumhouse might be taking over Orlando this year. Yeah. If if they do Halloween, I really hope it's Halloween 2018. If they do season of the witch, I will be fucking. I, I will be on the first flight out there. Yeah, I just think if if that is what they were gonna do, um, there'd be more of a clue out there, and the writing for this would be a little bit different. I just, I don't know. Yeah, if they, if just out of nowhere they're like, oh, we're doing season of the witch, be like booking a flight. I'm going for one night and then coming back. Yeah. <laughs> no, I. If that ends up coming, there's gonna be a, a huge cult following that comes. Oh, to see I that. love that. That, that movie's yeah. so good. Yeah. Um, yeah, Halloween should be fun. Don't know what it's going to be about, though. Um, Universal Monsters, Mummy vs. Wolfman, you can never go wrong with Universal Monsters. It's a great yep. It's a great time. Two great IPs right there. However, this is going to be an interesting matchup. That's a weird match. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's Supernatural <laughs> versus mystical and shit. You know what I mean? Like, That's like putting Doctor Strange up against freaking the Hulk. It's yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like. It's a weird one. I don't know. And the one I don't care about the weekend. All right, moving on. Yeah, no, wait, hold up. No, we got to talk about that. I, I think um, I think that could be a, a surprisingly good one. It I, probably I, will. I just thought I'm listening I, to his music. Yeah, I, 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 so I see the weekend. The more and more that I've thought about this, I see the weekend a lot like um, what, what was the Jordan Peele movie with nope. all the people with the scissors? Oh, and Us. Us. I, I get that feel, you know, he, he wears the, the red, you know, it's, it's kind of like this somber creepiness. Um, you know, I, I wasn't a fan of, of, uh, Billie Eilish coming to the event, but for one reason or another, I kind of hope that, that he does come to the event and this is a good one. I love Billie his music, by the way. Eilish, you do. I like, I like yeah. blind lights and that's about it. Have you heard all his stuff? Have you actually gave it a chance or I just, just, just not weird? for, it's not for me. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Maybe. <laughs> well, now this uh, speculation map on the on the West Coast is a little. There's something that's a little off on this one now because we just got confirmation this past week that we got we know what our Universal Monsters maze is going to be. Yeah, and that is Universal <laughs> Monsters Legends Collide. Um, unless unless Hollywood's doing a big big joke on you guys. I know, just right? Messing with you guys. Um, it's, it sounds like it, it sounds like it'd be a good maze though, but it's looking like it with the uh, facade and whatnot. But Legends Collide is going to be the fourth installment of the Universal Monsters storyline um, at Universal Studios uh, Hollywood, and this one is supposed to include Dracula, the Mummy, and the Wolfman all try to f all trying to fight for an amulet that will break their curse and they will stop at they will stop anyone that gets in their way. 
And so the ultimate question and base to differ is, are you going to get out alive or are you going to fall victim to Dracula, the Wolfman and the mummy? Yeah, that's going to be fun. And music by Slash. Can't forget that. You can be rocking out the entire time. Got to love them. Murdy connections. You already know. <laughs> Um, Candy, oh, go ahead. Talked about what do you think about what do you think about our legends collide? So I, I like the legends collide a lot better than Mummy versus the Wolfman. Although um, just the Wolfman in general, I, I like that idea. The the puppetry of of wolves. If I don't know if you guys have had the same type of puppetry as Orlando has, it's pretty terrifying. Yeah. With the with like the the sound cue, American Werewolf in London. Triggers. Yeah, that that was amazing. Yeah. Um, and I, I actually experienced that house in person. Did you guys get it as well? In 2015. 2015? I was terrified of those puppets. Even though I knew it was a puppet when I would see it coming, it would still kind of freeze me in place. So that was me. I'm excited. Yeah. Speaking of American Werewolf in London, that's also being speculated to come to Halloween Horror Nights 2022 in Hollywood. I'm very, looking, very much looking forward to that because that's one of my favorite. I think that's the greatest, one of the greatest werewolf movies ever made. Yeah, yeah, probably the best. Uh, well, aside from like the the first time that they had the Wolfman, you know, morph into a wolf from human and all those special effects, pra- yeah. well, practical well, this, effects that were used. This was the first film that did. You actually saw a werewolf, a human transform into a werewolf, but you actually saw like the bone stretch and yeah. the makeup. Like this was the first movie that did that, and they won an Academy Award for it. So, yeah, talk about it at the horror makeup show. I know, right? It's beautiful. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm excited for that to return. I know Sammy's looking forward to it, and, and if it does return, um, I'm hoping I get to see the beautiful facade of the slaughtered lamb. That should be a lot of fun. That'd be dope. Be dope. Um, Candyman, and this one just went vertical recently. They just started construction on the Waterworld queue, and it's being rumored to be Candyman, the 2020 version, I think. Is that when it came out? 2020? 2021? It um, was... 2020 i thought i think it was initially supposed to come out 2020 but then it got postponed during covid maybe i think it came out in 2021 Um, i haven't actually watched it did you watch it i haven't watched it no but i've heard nothing but great things about it so oh really yeah like a lot of really good things like it ties a lot into like the originals and stuff so awesome i got to check it out um but that should be cool and and that's that's typically our smallest maze location um throughout the entire event so to see what they can squeeze in that tiny location will be amazing but they do a great job every year of of building that blueprint it, it, i don't know how they do it but they they figure out a way every year to do it this is uh this one's the one i'm excited for i'm a huge fan of this franchise the video game just dropped on friday the evil dead is rumored to be in the walking dead location this year which tells me they gutted the walking dead finally and we got another opened soundstage in the works the, for Halloween. The facade Hornets. for that is gone, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, they've been gutting it, and I guess rumored that Evil Dead's going to go there, and I cannot wait because that's going to be inside of a soundstage. And I just can't wait to see the they have enough space to build the, the, the cabin facade. And I'm curious to see what it's going to be based off of, if it's going to be based off the original or – or the remake, but either way, I love Evil Dead. The game just dropped, and I want to play it, um, so I'm excited to see where that takes us. Um, La Llorona, again, another urban legend that's infamous in the motherland of Mexico. Yeah. Um, this is going to be, this is, I'm about 90% right now that this is coming, and the only reason I'm only 90% is because 10% is I'm waiting for Universal to confirm it. Um, but I'm about 90% sure this is coming, and it's going to be in the Parisian Courtyard because it already looks like the same facade that we've seen in the past. So I'm looking forward to that. And we just you know, we just did a video on Nights of Horror, but we'll show it here too of uh, all the photos that I've found on these, some of these properties. Um, the weekend, we are also getting the weekend. So I'm hoping that I will be surprised and shocked by it, but... Only time will tell. Um, <laughs> Scarecrow. Now, this is an original on your coast uh, that we are getting over here. And I guess we're putting our own twist on it or our own spin on it. Or I don't know how they're going to do it. I've never yeah. even heard of this maze when it first got announced. Like I didn't even know anything about it. I had to find out from you guys that it was an original over there. Yep. 
Scarecrow the Reaping. Yep. Yeah. So this is it's, and the facade is looking really cool right now. If it's where it's supposed to be rumored at uh, the Curious George tent, it's looking beautiful right now. This is the biggest shocker, and this kind of confuses the hell out of me. Killer Clowns from Outer Space 2. Now, how did John Murdy get his script? Because I know there's one written out there for this movie. And how the hell did he get his hands on this script? Or is he going to make an original? Yeah, I I don't think it's going to be based off of a second movie. I think it's it's more the second coming of the... Of the the uh, house or the property coming to Halloween Horror Nights. But if that ends up being the case where this ends up being like a trailer property, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, I, I'm going to love it regardless if it comes back. So Yeah, I know. I know. I know. But like, interesting like enough, this. this is in a brand new location at Universal Studios that we've never had before at Halloween Horror Nights, which is in back of Soundstage 29. Let me see. Um, what is that? H? Okay. Yeah, this is this is a brand new location. Now I've seen them dig it out. The only way I can see us getting in there is if you go where F is at, there's that alleyway, and that alleyway actually takes you all the way to the back lot, and that's how we used to get to the back lot for those mazes. But there's a little like exactly how those buildings are formed, there is a little way to get in there. So I'm assuming they're gonna line you up there and you'll exit out like how you exit out through soundstage twenty nine. So this is gonna be interesting if that is true that that Maze is going to go there, but again, only time will tell. But you guys have had nine, nine mazes before, right? Um, in the past, yeah, I think we've had nine mazes. Um, I think like in 2019 or in 2018, you guys had nine mazes. I'd have to go back and do research. I got to see exactly what was there and whatnot, but um, it's, it's, it's interesting. You guys are getting a new location, so are we. Well, I don't know why they won't bring back the Jurassic World location. Um, because that was a pretty good size location. That housed a lot of famous mazes too, like uh, Halloween Two, Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare. Uh, that was the original location for uh, American Werewolf in London, Insidious. I mean, it's housed a lot of great properties there, and it's a good location. I don't know why they don't bring it back, but uh, well, it's kind of it's kind of the same with us. We have a location in the back, the MIB tent, that isn't coming back this year either. Is that where Scary Ohio was? Yep, and where Blumhouse was prior to. Um, now we're getting the Fast and the Furious queue. And that that's 100%. That's, so seen... that's what they're swapping out, though, for... Because it didn't look like you guys were getting the Shrek queue either. Cause... Yeah, we're not getting the Shrek queue either. Um, so uh, let me look back. Hold on. So we're not getting the Shrek queue either. We're, we're getting this year, I guess... I, well, actually, the map still shows the MIB, but I guess Shrek right now is being replaced by the Fast and the Furious. But recent pictures have shown that they haven't, that the tent has been removed from the MIB location. The MIB location is, is bare. Hmm. Interesting. And, of course, our last attraction, the exclusive world-famous Studio Tour Terror Tram, uh, featuring supposedly Hollywood Harry, um, I'm excited if they bring back Hollywood Harry. It looks like they're trying to make him an icon out here in Hollywood. Um, and he this, this would be his third appearance at the event. He uh, was there in 2016 and 2017. And then, no, 2018. And then 2019, they didn't have the Terra Tram. And then last year, they had Terra Tram, but it was Purge-themed. Um, so to see Hollywood Harry returning to the Terra Tram, very much looking forward to that if that is true. But it's looking like a pretty good lineup this year. It's a lot better than last year, and honestly, uh, I, you know, there may be some mazes, but I'm honestly looking forward to going through all of them to see something new, to see the return, re to see the event return to full capacity is is just good to see that. So, but uh, that's pretty much it for the Hollywood side, man, and. I think that's uh, that's kind of a good way to close it out. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. Uh, and I, I got to say, personally, I like both lineups. And I, I know that your lineup in particular, if it remains slightly the same with La Llorona specifically, right. you'll have Adrian out there this year. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are welcome. Come out. You guys come out this year. We went out last year. Yeah. I, you know, 
you know, I got my hands full this year, so uh, yeah, I don't know how I much know. travel I'm going to okay. be able to do, yeah, but I, right. I definitely want to try. You get the year off then, you get the pass this year, okay? <laughs> you get the pass this year, that's true. But I really want to, though. I, I know really, you do. really want to. But you got to take care of the responsibilities first, and then we'll get you out here. Yeah. Give me 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. But yeah. It's been it's been great to reconnect with you again, man. It's been it's been too long, and and I'm glad we're gonna try to keep up consistency this week, uh, leading up to you know Halloween Horror Nights and whatnot. I'm I'm excited to see what we can oh. accomplish. Hold on, you missed something. What I miss? Jabberwockies are coming back. No, no, I didn't, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't miss anything. I don't know how much longer they got left on that stage then, because that's rumored to be the new Born location. I don't know. I hope they. But- leave forever and never come back and then bring back <laughs> bill and ted i just saw that at the bottom of your map and i was like how <laughs> dare he leave that out <laughs> no i purposely left that out come on Eddie. you and i know that yeah oh man but it has been an absolute pleasure to get back on track on things and and as more news comes out we'll be here talking about it we'll be breaking stuff down um, For sure. And just tune in the next couple of weeks. You might get a, a lot of coast comparisons, but yep. that's going to hold us off until we get some news for you guys. But we want to be consistent with, with East versus West. We got a whole season to look at as far as 2021 goes. I got to go to both events this this last year, so that will be fun because then actually it won't be just um, him reacting to Florida stuff. It will be also me reacting to Florida yeah. stuff that I remember going through. So it will be a lot of You'll fun. Be- You'll be correcting me. That's what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, right. <laughs> um, but if you guys are you guys are fans, you guys are fans of the Boo Bros in general, hit that subscribe button, that bell notification you where every time we put up a new video, and give this video a like, and leave some comments down below of what you guys think is coming to Halloween Horror Nights. If you like myself or Eddie in particular, uh, go ahead and check out our individual channels. I am the Knights of Horror. That is Eddie Tamant. Links will be in the bio below. Or if you want to just click on our channel, all of our. Uh, YouTube channels are there. So definitely go check everyone else out. Uh, check Eddie out. Check myself out. We got horror and, and haunt content over on my channel. And Eddie is kind of more of a lifestyle travel, um, adventurous kind of channel where they where they check out uh, various theme parks. And he's also a big horror fan. So it's the best of both worlds over at Eddie Tim. You get year-round great content. Bush Gardens, if you guys are yep. fans of that theme park, I mean – there's a lot of good stuff that he always goes to all these festivals, and I'm always jealous. I'm like, he's going to a beer festival, and I just I don't get that at knots. Like, <laughs> that's cool though. But thank you guys so much for watching another episode of East versus West. Tune in next week. We're gonna have a coast comparison for you. I'm Anthony, and I'm Eddie. And have you been Eddie Tamed? <laughs> Stay spooky. <laughs>